it uh, it means a lot to me and uh, yeah it just means a lot never underestimate how much wheel to wheels race for the rack means to cancer survivors the races for the checkered and season points totals take a back seat to the importance the event holds in showing support for cancer survivors and their families and friends. This Wheel to Wheels 7th Annual Race for the Rack, survivors introduced with signs showing survival from two weeks to over 50 years. You know how we go, we roll. Rick, it is great seeing you back out. What are you doing out here, Rick? Hey, well, you know what? I just love these people. I love racing. And, uh, yeah, I have a bunch of backup. And uh, we're, we're going to go out here and have a good time, support John and Crystal, and actually all, all the drivers that have drove uh, over the years. And, and uh, yeah, we're going to go have a good time. That's what we do. It is no easy task for Rick Beeson to, as he puts it, cowboy up and get back behind the wheel. He is some 11 years a cancer survivor and on his third pacemaker to boot. His pre-race goal is to try to get a couple of laps in, but you can almost feel the way his adrenaline kicks in as he realizes, I got this at least one last time and he battles his way through the field of six. He not only finishes the heat race, he finishes third behind Heidi Jo Erickson Culp, 77, and season points leader Brian Kuhn, bright yellow 23. Rick Beeson later confides he almost did not come back out for the main event, but he will. And how he does is a bona fide thrill. Race for the Rack, heat race sponsors include Race Day Images, ATEC Transmission, Patterson Print Shops, Gina Horn Designs, Nutty Bolts, True Chords Firewood, Rebel Oil, Town and Country Tire, Orion the Flying Lion 88, Trophy World, Frank James Enterprise, AKPTA. In this Intermediates heat race sponsored by DMB American Tax Prep, the bandit, Braden Miller Bushy, overtakes the front runners and takes the checkered. 23 is Jim Scollard, Stronghold Engineering Superintendent out of Riverside, pole position in the night's first Pro 500 heat race, sponsored by Taylor's Hitches and Stitches. Black 33 behind Scollard, Justin Taylor. John Alonzo in white 99. John Eaton 7 and Bobby Taylor 766 get out in front and stay there previewing their upcoming battle in the main. This heat race won by the former NHRA top alcohol world champion from Laguna Hills. Lila Bonham 4 starts behind Cash Culp, Ryan Bond in blue 14 and Norma Weatherby white 9 in this KT100 heat race sponsored by St. Clair Plastics. Lila Bonham on her way toward a milestone night of excellent racing for the Apple Valley teenager. She comes from the back of the pack to take the lead and the checkered, foretelling her later success in winning her first KT100 main event of her rookie season in dirt carts racing. All nine main events are sponsored by Above All Pest Control, the 12 car intermediates main 54 Junior Ponciad at the pole, Braden Miller Bushy outside, 16 Lydia Brown, 11 Cole Brown, younger brother of Lydia, 28 Stevie Simpson, winner of the previous race main, 23 season points leader Jaden Manchester, Cash Culp, Zate Legend, Black 8 Orange Trim, 18 Casper Wright, 66 Michael Twining, followed by Mia Farrell, 51, and Alex Edsel, 7. Jaden Manchester returns to the top slot on the podium, finishing ahead of Lydia Brown, then Cash Culp third. Jaden Manchester, the nine-year-old and fourth-year veteran, increasing his season points lead to seven, 87-80 over second place Stevie Simpson. The Flying Lion, Orion Petri, captures the checkered in the very beginner's class, Speedway Sprints Juniors. Orion Petri finished third in the Juniors main the race prior. He celebrates atop the podium this Saturday night. John Eden, 
Bobby Taylor, John Alonzo, starting 1-2-3 in the Pro 500 main, and that is how they finish, ahead of Justin Taylor and Jim Scollard. In season points, John Aiden has a six points lead over second place John Alonzo, 85 to 79. Bobby Taylor is in third, 71 points. The girl and the lady rule and reign in the KT100 dirt carts class. 16-year-old Lila Bonham leads from beginning to end ahead of Storm and Norma Weatherby, white nine, Cash Culp, and Ryan Bond, Blue 14. This marks the first main event victory for the teenager who is also active raising cattle in Apple Valley FFA and is a member of the Apple Valley High School marching band drumline. Cash Culp's third place finish enables him to maintain a six point lead over Norma Weatherby in season points. It's another young ladies night out in front in the restrictor main, 15 year old Stevie Rogers increases her lead in season points to 15 with the runaway win. Ricky Simpson finishes second in this main and is in second place in season points. He has 90 to Stevie Rogers 105. That's the highest season points total of any racer in all the wheel to wheel classes. Cash Culp who raced in four classes this night, wins the Dirt Carts Junior Main. The 11-year-old from Nuevo has been racing since he was six. His 77 points lead in this class is the widest among all racers. Here is the start of the main we have saved for last. The Dirt Carts Senior Class, Erica Grams, white four, Rick Beeson, white 44, right behind, Wayne Rowland, Black 81, James Crum, Blue 86, Heidi Jo Erickson Culp, 77, Blaine Kuhn, 23. Blaine Kuhn bolts from the back of the pack and by the back stretch in the opening lap is moving up fast, cutting down in turn three to move into second behind Erica Grams. Rick Beeson hanging on to third, sizing up Blaine Kuhn out of the straightaway and keeping the pedal to the metal right on the heels of the season points leader. Rick Beeson starts this main not hoping to make a splash in season points, but racing against his own restraints. And when he continues to realize he can still make this pony run, it becomes more and more fun trying to overtake those ahead of him. These three, Grams, Kuhn, Beeson, remain one, two, three until Blaine Kuhn slides in front. Erica Grams regains the lead out of the turn two. Grams and Kuhn neck and neck, and then Rick Beeson makes it three across down the straightaway in what is turning into one heck of a race. Coming out of the backstretch, Rick Beeson surges into the lead. By now, Erica Grams has fallen off the pace. It's a duel between the Kuhn doggy, who just turned 51, and the mid-50s survivor determined to take it to the limit one more time. Round and round and round they go. When it looks like the front runner is pulling away, the challenger blasts right back up on his heel. Blaine Coon wins the race to the checker. Rick Beeson finishes where he finished, not as significant as that he did finish and even start for that matter straight with me Rick what does it mean for you to be able to get out here and uh, run a lap or two it uh it means a lot to me and uh yeah, yeah. it just means a lot and all these great people over there supporting me and uh yeah it's all good Hey, we love you, Rick. You are an inspiration to all of us. Have a great time tonight. All right. Love you guys, too. Thank you, everybody. Bid fast and last. Sold on supporting high desert sports. Bid fast and last. Liquidation of government entities, vehicles, firearms, estates, antiques, fine jewelry, coins, and more. Bid online at bidfastandlast.com. Ready to kick tires, start fires, kick ass, take names, and rock and roll.